In this part of the tutorial, we'll show you how you can use AI to Canvas to create clickable hotspots that make your HTML5 Canvas applications more interactive. And to illustrate, we'll make it so that when you click in the area of the sun, it goes a little bit supernova. So to create that clickable area, let's create a new layer. We'll give it a name of, I don't know, sunspot. And then we'll use the ellipse tool to draw the clickable area. So let's draw a circle that is somewhere around the area of the sun. Now because we don't want this spot to actually be drawn on the canvas, let's remove its stroke and remove its fill. So we've got our clickable location. Now to create the supernova effect, I've already copied a bunch of properties for the sun glow that we created in an earlier tutorial. So I'm going to paste that in. Uh, and you can look through all of this later, but basically it adds a bunch of animation commands that you probably are already familiar with. And just to see what everything looks like, let's do File export, export, and overwrite our tutorial file. And if we did everything right, we should see the animation right away. So it takes that sun glow and actually expands it. So now how do we hook up the clicking or the detection of clicking with that effect? So I'll right click and choose View Source to go into Visual Studio 2010. And the first thing I'm going to do is paste in a new function that I wrote earlier just because it's a long function. So let me copy that and come back to our file. I'll find the initialization function and put it somewhere near that function. Let's say right after it. And what this function does is it will, when a mouse is clicked, draw the sunspot, which of course has no stroke or no fill, so nothing shows up on the canvas, but it sets up that path. It then gets the location of the mouse click within the canvas in X and Y locations. And then it calls the context is point in path command to basically find out if that click is inside the path that was drawn. And if that happens, we then ask our Sun Glow's scale animation to begin and the alpha animation to begin. So now we've got this function we can call. We need to prevent the animation from starting automatically when the page loads. So to do that, we're going to delete these two lines that tell the Glow, Scale, and Alpha to start. So I'll hit the Delete key to get rid of that. And now we have one more thing to do. In the init function, we need to basically say that when the mouse click happens to call our function. So we'll say canvas add event listener for the click event call sun click and we'll save that go back to our browser. We'll refresh the page and now when we actually click on the sun we cause an animation to happen. So what we've seen here is that you can use the AI to canvas plugin to draw shapes or bounds that can be checked with the canvas is point in path command to add interaction to your canvas projects.